Hard to practice. Everybody getting into the act. Durant fires for three. Got it. Got it. Here's Thompson for three. Big shot by Steph Curry. LeBron going to the <laughs> Lakers, and we got a little sample there of what some of those young guys that the Lakers have picked up over the last couple of weeks will look like with Wagner here. But you look at this roster here, and we talked to, about adding Rondo and Stevenson, the ball handlers. But guys, let's talk about what this means for, for Lonzo Ball. Uh, GA, you had mentioned you, you think that, you know, he, he can make it work. Um, first, I want to get your thoughts here on there's some thought here that the Lakers are piling up all of these assets here to make a move, whether it's for Kawhi, but maybe they'll look to move Lonzo Ball. I, I think they're very happy with Lonzo Ball as a player. Uh, I've talked to the people there. They, they love the kid as a player. Now, granted, let's have perspective. Now their whole philosophy has shifted. They just signed LeBron James. Now they're thinking championship. This was a similar dynamic to what Cleveland was going through when they hired David Blatt before LeBron signed on to come back. He went there to develop young talent. All of a sudden, he's got to try to win a championship. So that's the dynamic that this Laker team finds themselves in now. Now they're going to start trying to push toward a championship. Lonzo Ball's going to play if healthy, and I think he's going to have a good year. But what this is going to do, one, Rondo can be a mentor to him. Two, Rondo's going to push him because Rondo's going to want to play. He's on a one-year deal. Right. Uh, and three, it's going to expedite their learning curve for all these young guys, for Kuzma, for Ingram. They're all going to have an opportunity to still be a part of the future, but if they don't feel as an organization that these guys are going to be at the point where we can win a championship in two years, then I could very well see them maybe making a move to go in a different direction. But I don't think they're going into it with the mindset that they're not a part of our future. They just want that future to be now. Well, uh, th there's a lot of similar pieces, and as we mentioned, not very many outside shooters here. We, we asked you, Billy, to kind of look <laughs> at, at that depth chart and come up with what are the other four guys, because we're pretty sure LeBron's, LeBron's starting, right? Yeah, yeah. Good chance. There's a good Billy, chance. Billy, who, who do you think as of now, and listen, this roster may not be complete yet, but as of today, who are you starting with, LeBron? Well, I like this young athletic team. You put ball out there, who's going to push it. Ingram can make a shot. Kuzma can make a shot. You go small and athletic, put LeBron out there, and let McGee start, almost like he did in Golden State. Maybe the first four minutes, and you bring guys in. Because then you come off the bench. If the young guys aren't doing it, you come off the bench with guys like Stevenson. You come off the bench with Rondo. If you start the veterans, and they don't have it that night, then you got to go to the young guys, hoping they can step up. I'd rather start the young guys, let them play, and go to the veterans on the bench, because you know what they're going to bring every night. Mm -hmm.